welcome back to Bazaar Morning Call. Well, we kickstart the day with lots of stocks and lots of, of course, uh, news that comes through. So let's get uh, going with Ekta first up on Yatharth Hospital and why she's watching that one. Ekta Morning. Thanks for that. Well, it is the maiden quarter from Yatharth and I expect that stock to be in the green today because it was a good quarter. Revenue up 39%, margins have come in at around 26.8% versus 23% and profit of around 19 crores versus 11 crores year on year. Q on Q as well, the margins have been maintained for that particular company. In terms of key stats, bed occupancy has improved to 51% versus 49% in the previous quarter and 40% same time year ago. And the average revenue per occupied bed has also risen to 28,140 odd rupees. This compares to around 26,457 rupees same time a year ago. And there's been an improvement on a Q1Q basis as well. Okay, all right. Uh, <clears throat> we'll be, by the way, Ekta, thanks very much for that. We'll have the management of the hospital joining us at 9 a.m. today uh, to talk about their first quarter earnings. Well, that's uh, Yatharth, uh, the new listing, uh, which is done quite, quite well in the first quarter, as Ekta told us. Well, uh, stocks with new slope. Mangalam has got that list. He's joining in. Mangalam, good morning. Well, it's a Friday and I start with Sula. Why do I say that? Because the extended weekend that was 12th to 14th August saw the highest ever revenue, visitor numbers and tastings for a three-day period for the company itself. In fact, revenue for this long weekend touched nearly 2 crore, which is 40% higher than what we saw in the previous long weekend as well. I presume that had 15th August not been a dry day, this would have been a four-day long weekend for Sula, a good one there too as well. But uh, a lot of the IT companies, they have been getting a lot of orders. So LTI Mindry is the one where Affleck has selected the company as a digital transformation partner for application modernization and cloud transformation. The number is not revealed, but this, should, uh, this seems like a positive deal for them itself. And finally, we do have Gen Irrigation where the board has approved short and medium term fundraising. They would raise about 76 crores from uh, promoter allotment. And then there is Alpha Alternative Structured Credit Opportunities, LLP as well, which will be given shares worth nearly 123 odd crores. All right, thanks a lot for that. So lots of stocks in focus. Vivek is here. He was telling us about that Bata Adidas partnership yesterday. There's more details coming through this morning. And he's also talking about NLC India. Vivek, good morning. Well, good morning. You know, post our uh, you know, exclusive news break yesterday on Bata India, uh, the exchanges wrote to Bata India asking for a clarification from them. And late last night, the company filed a reply to the exchanges. The company says uh, that, you know, they've had successful long-running strategic tie-ups with various brands in Indian markets. And they say they continue to explore opportunities for strategic alliances, tie-ups, as well as collaborations as far as the Indian market is concerned. And now, along with that, the stock to keep an eye out for would be NLC India, uh, positive development coming in over there. The company has entered into a long-term PPA agreement with Rajasthan Urja, uh, you know, Vigam Nimlet, which is the, the Rajasthan uh, distribution company. This is for a supply of almost 300 megawatt wire solar power, a significant positive development as far as this particular company too is concerned. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot for that, Vivek. Well, let's hop across to Abhishek. He's here to tell us about some more stocks around the news. Abhishek? Uh, well, Nigel, to begin with, Adani Energy Solution, uh, there is an ET report which says that uh, Taka is looking to deploy about $1.5 billion to about $2.5 billion in Adani Group uh, funds for a 19.9% stake in Adani Energy. Now, purchase likely to be via combination of primary infusion as well as a secondary infusion uh, uh, purchase from the promoter family. Now, CNBC TV18 has not verified this news report independently. Adani Enterprises, the Mundra uh, solar uh, energy gets a, a commercial operation uh, date certificate from SCCI which is Solar Energy Corporation of India for solar PV cells and uh, solar PV modules the manufacturing 23 and Punjab and Sindh Bank Crystal has uh, revised the rating outlook from negative to stable while retaining their uh, rating on the bank of news flow there's Yatharth Hospital Sula Vineyards LTI Mine Tree Gen Irrigation Bata NLC uh, South Indian Bank, Adani Power, Adani Enterprises and Robinson Bank. Well, guess what? There are no stocks on our radar with negative news for today. But there's lots happening in the world of commodities, especially with risk aversion across equity markets. Manisha Gupta is joining in for a roundup of all the action there. Manisha, morning. Morning. Thank you for that, Sonia. Well, I'll start with the crude oil prices, which are set for a first weekly decline after seven straight week of gains. So we've gained 20% uh, in last seven weeks, but this week the crude prices are down by nearly 4%. The weak economic data from China, expectations of further rise in U.S. rates, and even as while well, China says that they will keep the policy liquidity ample, 
and uh, policy precise and forceful, the markets are yet to see all of that transform on ground. And until then, you will continue to see choppy crude oil prices there. But finally, on the last day of the week, there is some buying coming in for the metal as a sector. Copper is off at two and a half month lows. Prices have climbed back above $8,200 a ton. The dollar index has come slightly off the kind of highs that we saw it in yesterday, and that has been supportive. Not just copper, but steel, zinc, aluminum, all of these metals also are trading widely into the green in Asia right now. All right, uh, Manisha, thanks very much uh, for that. We'll take a quick commercial break here. Deepan Mehta of Elixir Equities joins in uh, for uh, some fundamental uh, stock check. Later, we'll connect with uh, Kostab Pavaskar of Sher Khan uh, <clears throat> by BNP Paribas to put focus on the FMCG sector and the tie-up talks between Bata and uh, Adidas. Stay tuned.